ट्रिगोनोमेट्री इट इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल इन टेंथ क्लास स्टैंडर्ड वी हैव ए ट्राइंगल ए बी सी राइट एंगल एट बी ऑपोजिट टू राइट एंगल साइड ए सी इज हाइपोटेनिस नॉर्थ इज लेफ्ट एन एक्यूट एंगल थीटा एंड ऑपोजिट टू एक्यूट एंगल साइड ए बी विल परपेंडिकुलर द रिमेनिंग साइड इज कॉल्ड बेस ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल नाउ दिस कैन बी like this also suppose this is p q r and right angle at q opposite to right angle side pr is hypotenuse selecting the angle p as angle acute angle theta opposite to angle theta qr is perpendicular and remaining side pq is base then we have another triangle b e f and it is right angle at e opposite to right angle df is perpendicular no no sorry this is hypotenuse in selecting an angle theta this is perpendicular and rest of the side is called base now we have to arrange these sides as ratios like that perpendicular upon hypotenuse in between base upon hypotenuse and perpendicular upon base this ratio is called sin theta cos theta and tan theta again hypotenuse upon perpendicular and hypotenuse upon base and base upon perpendicular this ratio is called cos theta this is sec theta and this is cot theta these ratios can be remembered as this table like that p b p h h b this table is very famous as pandit patri prasad har har bol it is easy to remember by this keyword and this ratio like that sin theta cos theta tan theta and this is cosec theta sec theta and cot theta by this table we easily can <coughs> learn these ratios then if you want to write sin theta it will be upon h perpendicular upon hypotenuse if you want to write cos theta that is base upon hypotenuse and if you want tan theta that is perpendicular upon base p upon b and if we need cosec theta then it will is a reverse it will hypotenuse upon perpendicular and if we want sec theta then it will hypotenuse upon base and if we need cot theta that is base upon perpendicular 
Now these ratios can be easily learned by this table and this table is very famous in trigonometry. Now, <coughs> we saying that if we have sin theta into cosec theta, it will according to this table P upon H into H upon P. H and H reduced, P and P reduced, now it will 1 means sin theta into cosec theta always 1. This is the one of the relation and it can be called identity. That implies that sin theta equals to 1 upon cosec theta and cosec theta equals to 1 upon sin theta. Similarly, cos theta into sec theta will be uh, base upon hypotenuse into hypotenuse upon base. If we cut it, we get in 1 cos theta into sec theta. That is cos theta equals to 1 upon sec theta or we can write it sec theta equals to 1 upon cos theta.